Hi, I'm Simon Hackney and today we're going to do a small encaustic wax painting. This is a beginner's tutorial. Hope you enjoy it. Hi, today we're going to do a small landscape painting and it's going to be done with wax. Okay, so the colours we're using are like a movie red, green, white, light brown and blue. These are the waxes. They're made by Encaustic Art and they're the ones that I prefer and we'll be doing the painting with this which is the equivalent of a travel iron and a travel iron could quite easily be used. This is just a piece of encaustic card. I've cleaned the iron. Now on the base of the iron I'm going to add some white blue and along the edge a hint of the red. I'm going to start at the top of the card and just sweep that down and pull the iron across. Just pull that out a bit more, make it look like there's something happening there. Sweep. There we go, so we have a sky area. Nice and simple, not too bad. Now turning our, our paper around, we're going to get some green. And on the opposite side of the iron this time, we did the sky this side because I'm right handed, this side. And now I'm going to actually put it on the opposite side. So I'm going to put some green, like so. And then just along the edge, as we did with the red, I'm going to put a little bit of brown, like so. All right, now when I turn this round, this is going to be our horizon, and the foreground will come together under that. Now this will blend, actually, on the card underneath the iron. And I'm going to use a sweeping motion up and down the canvas, or the card in this case. I'm so used to painting on canvas that um, class everything is a canvas now. Okay, and there we have our countryside. Like so. Going back in with the iron, I'm going to, I'll show you with another piece of card. I'm going to actually touch and bend the card like this, moving it around the sole plate of the iron. Now the iron is clean, okay, there's no wax on it. What it's going to do is melt the wax that's already on the card. And this will give us some simple foliage, okay. So just bending that down to the foreground. And there we have it, we've got some simple foliage in the picture. And um, it's coming together, so we've got a nice background. Distant hills there, looks like the moors. And we've got some foliage, bushes, whatever it may be in the foreground. Now to enhance that foreground and bring it all together, one of the things that um, we do sometimes is we'll just dot on some of the sky colors. So some of the blue and some of the red. And now again, I'm going to dab this, just as we did for the foliage, randomly across the card. And it will give it a heathery type appearance and tie the whole thing in with the sky area. So all the color tones are starting to come in together, starting to match. Very quick, very easy, and this is dry. This this is dry already. I've got the iron set on low, so it's not whacking out all of its heat. You find if you do that, it tends to melt the wax too quickly. Right. Now I think from the moors here somewhere, there's going to be a path running across the moor, like so. Maybe it goes up here, disappears up into the hill somewhere. 
All right, now I've drawn this as a wavy line. Don't, if you're doing this, go on the um, card and just draw a line straight down, okay? Actually put some life into it like you would see in nature. And it would change on each fold of the land where the path runs would generally, not always, but generally change. So where this fold in the land is, I'm gonna bring the path across and move it down like so. And then here, through the trees, background trees, bushes, whatever it may be, I'm just going to scrape in. This is just removing the wax with a scraper tool. See if I can get rid of that little bit, that little blob there. There we go. So removing the wax with a scraper tool to give us our path, we then take a pad of tissue. This is a, a pad of rolled up tissue, it's quite hard, quite firm. And we go into this path, and I'm going to rub this path, and the friction will melt the wax. Now I don't have to rub too hard. The friction will melt the wax, and it will blend the wax into the surrounding image so that the path is then sort of nailed to the scene rather than looking like something that's just been scraped in. Okay, with the edge of the iron, just giving the iron a wipe on some tissue. Okay, I've got a pile of tissue over here that the iron sits on and every now after every time I just give it a wipe on the tissue. Okay, so it's nice and clean. With the edge of the iron, I'm just going to take some of our green and run it along the edge, just a little bit like that. And then in our foreground area, I'm just going to run that through, to give us maybe some taller grasses or plants or whatever it may be growing here in the foreground. Like so. Do that on each side. This is just to show you the different things that you can use this iron for. Okay, so there we have a very, very, very quick, simple, very simple landscape using encaustic wax and an iron. All right, as I go through these, I'll, I'll do a series on these and each one will become a bit more complex because um, you can really do some nice stuff with this, particularly towards the fantasy side of things, which I love to do. Right, so that's that. Once you've done that, take a tissue and just give it a polish. Very, very gently. You do, Don't press hard on this. If you press hard, the friction will melt the wax. Okay, so you gently buff it and it'll make all the colors stand out. It'll make the picture pop, and we'll end up with a nice finished encaustic landscape painting. All done in about 10 minutes, I should think. Right, that's another one for me. I'm Simon Hackney. You can find me on Simon Hackney Art over on Facebook and I've got a, a page on there and a group, an art group, if you'd like to come over and join. It's called the Simon Hackney Art Group. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you really like it, subscribe, share, and if you'd like to leave any comments, please do so. Thank you very much for watching.